everyone. My name is Sam Willens, your mother of Valkyries and your host of the Sword and the Ribbon podcast. And I am so excited to be here. And welcome to the very first episode. This podcast is going to be full of info, interviews, wisdom, geeky book references, and sassy and kick-assy stuff. But before we get all into that, let me tell you a little bit about me first. Who am I? Who wouldn't want to know about their host, right? You're thinking, who the fuck am I even listening to? Well, let me tell you all about myself. I am from California and grew up participating in individualized sports like martial arts. I went to college for kinesiology and athletic training. And then through the years, fitness has remained a steady current in my life. I am a fitness instructor and a personal trainer with 10 plus years of experience. I have multiple certifications and I've been running my own business for about nine years now. When the pandemic hit, I was let go from my studio job as a lead instructor, and my location was unfortunately shut down. And during that time, like most people, we started virtual classes. I hosted a few themed classes in person, but when everyone was stuck at home, people got bored really quickly. So I decided to do more themed classes to keep everyone engaged. Turns out everyone loved them, so I made it more of a regular thing. Thus, Micro Squad and the Geek Gym were born, and then along came Valkyrie Squad. Someone introduced me to A Court of Thorns and Roses, and I fell in love with the series. It is the most recent book called A Court of Silver Flames. It talks about all things fitness and mental health, which are things I'm already really passionate about. So I thought, why not make this into a real thing? So I did. I took some of the workouts and mental health ideas and created an entire program out of it. But more on that in a later episode. Now you know who I am. What the hell does this title even mean? The Sword and the Ribbon comes from the book of Court of Silver Flames. It's an idea about cutting a white ribbon while training. So I'm going to read you an excerpt from Chapter 51 of A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Maas. Gwyn's attention fixed on tying a length of white silk ribbon to a wood beam jutting from the side of the pit. Neither the ribbon nor the beam had been there a week ago, and Nesta had no idea how they'd even anchored the wood into the stone, but there it was. The crisp morning wind ruffled Nesta's hair. That's exactly what I'm telling you. She wasn't ready to see Feyre, though. For all she'd confess to Cassian, that step, she'd face it soon. Done, Gwyn declared, the white ribbon fluttering in the wind where it hung from the beam. Cassian approached Gwyn's handiwork and ran the white silk between two fingers. He cleared his throat. Explain, he ordered Gwyn. Gwyn squared her shoulders. This is the Valkyrie test for whether your training is complete and you're ready for battle. Cut the ribbon in half. Emery snorted, what? But Cassian made a contemplative noise, gesturing to the other half of the ring. As told me, you also started preliminary work with the steel blades while we were gone. He nodded to Gwyn and Emery. So show me what you learned. Cut the ribbon in two. We sliced the ribbon in two, Emery asked Gwyn warily, and our training is complete? I'm not entirely sure, Gwyn said. Cassian released the ribbon. A warrior's training is never complete, but if you're able to slice this ribbon in two with one cut, then I'd say you can hold your own against most enemies, even if you've only been training for a little while. At their silence, he looked between them. Who's first? Again, the three of them swapped glances. Nesta frowned. Whoever went first would get the brunt of the humiliation. Gwyn shook her head. No way in hell. Emery's mouth popped open. Why me? She demanded. You're oldest, Gwyn said, nudging Emery toward the ribbon. Emery groused, but stepped up to the dangling ribbon, grudgingly taking the sword Cassian extended. Nesta smirked. Go ahead, Emery. Cursing under her breath, wings tucking in tight. Emery lifted the blade in near-perfect form and sliced the ribbon. The white silk fluttered and bent around the blade, and absolutely did not slice in two. Let's all admit we knew that would happen, Emery said. Teeth bared as she slashed the sword again. The ribbon danced harmlessly away. Cassian clasped her shoulder. Looks like I'll see you at training tomorrow. Asshole, Nesta muttered. Cassian laughed and took the sword from Emery, and in the same breath spun, swiping low and even. The bottom half of the ribbon fluttered to the ground, a perfect slice. He grinned. At least I can cut the ribbon. Now that scene was so impactful for me when reading the book. And when thinking of the title for this podcast, this idea of the ribbon immediately came to mind. Cutting the ribbon with a sword as a goal included everything this podcast should be. And when you understand the story more and the deeper symbolism, you understand that it motivates you to not give up on a goal that you didn't think was possible. But why even make this podcast? The reason all comes back to community. In the Valkyrie Squad community, we have a Discord server where every single member gets to interact with each other. In there, so many of you have shared stories how the program changed your lives and the impact it has had on you and others. 
Some of you have even said it's like a warm hug. I wanted to make something tangible to give back to all of you and give you the space to share your story, inspire others, or to remind you that you are not alone. Just like Sarah J. Moss tells us in A Court of Silver Flames, your story is worth telling. And what we've learned from Discord is you are never alone in your experiences. I was so inspired by all the Valkyries who have shared this program and everything it has done for them. And I hope this podcast inspires anyone who wants to find, channel, and awaken their inner warrior. So what's to come on this podcast? Some of the topics I will cover are Valkyrie folklore and history, all things book and inspirational fiction, being part of a squad, and the impact community can make in someone's life. And I'll even talk about mental health and fitness lifestyle, especially the practice of mind stealing and all Valkyrie essentials, with some special guests to come. There are a bunch of episodes recorded and in the pipeline for you all, and I am so, so excited. And then to end each podcast, I want to leave you all a piece of cauldron-blessed wisdom and an action item to carry this wisdom through your week. When I was little, I was taught not to say I can't when faced with challenges. It helped me create fortitude and create solutions for obstacles. It became something I took through my whole life and something I stand for today. How I approach problems and challenges It also helped me create this program to be accessible for as many people as possible so no one could say they can't complete it. Something to think about and journal about this week is, where are you saying I can't in your life? And how can you actually say I can? Reframing a situation to redefine your expectations. For example, I'm not able to work out today because some sort of work got in the way. Instead of being disappointed in yourself for not doing what you wanted, when you wanted, redefine your expectations and figure out a way you can still complete the task in a different way. So instead of not working out at all because you didn't work out when you wanted, you decide to go for a short walk during lunch just to get your body moving. So this week's challenge is to choose your personal white ribbon. Pick something you thought you couldn't do and decide to do it. Pick something you're working toward and claim it as your white ribbon. Once you choose your idea, go and get that ribbon. Get a physical white ribbon and put it in your home. You can even write your goal on it and display it in whatever way makes sense to you. Take a picture of it and then tag us on Instagram at the Sword and the Ribbon podcast so we can share all your ribbons. And remember, be strong, kick ass, be fucking magical. Until next time and every day. This episode was produced by Bex Castro, Mia Garlock, and Carolyn McMorrin. Special thank you to Taylor Ash for creating the music of this podcast. And thanks for listening to The Sword and the Ribbon by The Micro Squad. If you're interested in learning more about The Valkyrie Squad, visit us at thevalkyriesquad.com. If you're interested in learning more about The Micro Squad or Geek Gym for a class, visit us at themicrosquad.com. And make sure you're subscribed to the show wherever you get your podcasts from so you don't miss out. And if you liked this week's episode, please leave us a review.